Poetry in the Miss Universe pageant. Pageant. Good evening. I'm Pointed Naki Renkamp. Last year, I represented my home country of Thailand in the 1988 Miss Universe pageant in Taiwan. Here in Mexico, the excitement's been building as the 76 contestants have been preparing for this year's pageant. Tonight, one of them will leave wearing the crown of Miss Universe. Fiesta Americana Contessa Cancun Hotel in Mexico's exotic Yucatan. It's the 1989 Miss Universe pageant. With your host, John Forsythe. Hostess, Emma Sam. Miss Universe 1982, Karen Baldwin. The reigning Miss Universe, Porn Tip, Naki Rungenot. Ballet Folklorico de Quintana Roo. And the Mora Arriaga Mariachi. Ladies and gentlemen, your hosts for this evening, John Forsythe, Emma Sams, and Karen Baldwin. Bienvenidos. Welcome to Cancun, ladies and gentlemen. And here are the stars, the real stars of tonight's show. From the world over, 76 outstanding women. We now present the 1989 Miss Universe Parade of Nations. The contestants from Central and North America. Mexico! El Salvador! Guatemala! Costa Rica! Honduras! Iceland! The contestants from Asia and the lands down under. Sri Lanka. Philippines. Singapore. India. Malaysia. Delegates from the British Isles and Europe. Revolt! 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 England! Wales! Scotland! Ireland! Portugal! Holland! Germany! Finland! Francia! 
candidate from South America. My first meeting with the chairman. How about this? Oh, thank you. There are wonderful girls, 76 of them. Karen, now, what are you going to be doing tonight? You were a, a Miss Universe, That's and right. you were also a contestant, and you were a winner. And I was a judge as well, and uh, one lucky young lady is in for quite an experience tonight. Well, then I suggest we get started. What are you going to do? Oh, we like on Dynasty anything I want. Yeah, I'm sure of that. <laughs> Well, we're going to meet our young ladies now. And we'll see the candidates in swimsuits by Catalina and in evening gowns. They'll also tell us something about themselves. And here we go. Start picking your favorites. From all around the globe, our Miss Universe delegates have gathered here at the edge of the turquoise Caribbean on the white sand beaches of Cancun. First, we meet Miss Hong Kong. I'm a TV actress, and now I host a talk show in Hong Kong. My name is Chung Yo Kui. I'm working for the Israeli military. I would like to become a physical therapist. My name is Nicole Hauser. I'm a student of marine ecology and oceanography in Paris. My name is Jackie Ronabel. I'm about to start studying chemistry. I'd like to work in a lab creating my own perfume. I'm Eva Pedraza. Soy Eva Pedraza. I speak five languages and I want to use my skills as I travel the world. My name is Angela Fisser. My ambition is to educate children. I'm a teacher. I'm studying elementary education. My name is Mariana Sobero. A perfect place in the sun. The Fiesta Americana Condesa Hotel for Miss Colombia. I'd like to be a bacteriologist to do science research. My name is Maria Teresa Urlein Lecosa. Hello, I work for the Ministry of Public Works and I tend to have a modeling career. My name is Cristiana Lazani. 
I study system and computer engineering as well as French. My name is Annie Canan Camilo. I work as a fashion model. I also paint and I want to study fine art. And I'm Colette Jackson. I'm an accountant and model and would like to be an international interpreter. I'm Cornelia Ferber. I speak five languages and after the pageant I'll make my first professional music. My name is Amda Basir. I'm a certified scuba diver and I'm looking for a career that will include all of my interests from Carol and Balls. I'm doing my Bachelor's of Law this year. I wish to become a European business lawyer. My name is Chris Scott. Cancun mixes ancient Maya and modern Mexico and Miss Nigeria. I'm a law student and I'd like to become a director of public prosecutions for my state. My name is Diane Curon. My future ambition is to achieve all my goals. I'm studying medicine and my name is Raquel Corsuyoa. I'm a professional dancer, but since you can't dance forever, I'm going to study fashion design. My name is Karina Pili. I'm a cattle broker and real estate investor. I'd like to create a documentary about today's American cowboy, Gretchen Paulina. On to Cozumel. Crystal clear water, fabulous snorkeling, and Miss Iceland. I work as a secretary and I take art classes. I hope to have a career in advertising. My name is Kutger Kisarkovic. My ambition is to become a successful businesswoman. I presently work for a shipping company, and I am Tatiana de Suez. My ambition is to become a fashion designer. I'm a model, and my name is Ana Mosteiro. I want to have a career in acting and art. I already have the blue belt in karate. My name is Lene Ornhoff. Hi, I just graduated from high school. I love to sing and dance, and I hope to become an actress. I am Adriana Abascal. Our ship arrives at the Plaza Las Glorias Hotel for Miss Paraguay. I'm a law student and I'd like to be a judge one day. My name is Anna Scherer. I am an art student in Florence. I'd like to be an architect. My name is Jasmine Barada. I want to be a fashion model. I'm a student of physical education. My name is Francisca Sublin. I'm a model and art and design student and I intend to own my own advertising agency. My name is Victoria Lees. I'm a professional model and public spokesperson. I study elocution in the dramatic art. I'm Karen Wenden. I'm studying physical I'm studying education. Physical education. education. My ambition is to be a good physical therapist and professor. My name is Macarena Mina. At the beautiful Puerta Aventuras Marina, it's Miss Republic of China. Good evening. I'm a freshman at Ming Chuan University in Taipei, majoring in business. My name is Ying Qingcheng. I'm a marketing student and plan to be a fashion buyer for a department store. My name is Carmen Chia. I'm a doctor. I'd like to specialize in tropical medicine. My name is Lafia Sandui. I'm a university student of economic in Besançon. My name is Pascal Mioti. I'm a full-time secretary, part-time model, and a would-be world traveler. My name is Shelley Stone. I work for the Ministry of Tourism. I intend to pursue a career in accounting, and I am Tasha Ramirez. My ambition is to be a businesswoman. It was my mother who inspired me to study computer programming. I'm Francis City. I'm a secretary for an advertising firm. I would like to get married and have a big family. I'm Serene Villanueva. I'm a commercial artist, and when I'm not working, I love to listen to music from the big band era. My name is Natalie Lynch. I'm a member of the National Dance Troupe of Belize, and I'm currently pursuing my degree in accounting. I'm Andrea McCoy. I am a professional hairstylist. Last week, I gave it to Ireland a haircut. My name is Louise Stevenson. At the Fiesta Americana Cancun, a Mayan warrior and Miss Wales. I'm a fashion photographic model and soon hope to take my banking exams. My name is Andrea Caroline Jones. I want to be a businesswoman. I study in Thai classical dance. My name is Ilodaro Hanam. 
I'm a high school maths and science teacher and my ambition is to be an architect. I am Camille Samuel. I would like one day to become an attorney specializing in civil law. I'm Flavia Cavalcanti. After graduation, I plan to go into business with my mother, selling her ladies' fashion. I am Maria Eugenia Molina. I'm a therapeutic masseuse. I'd like to have my own massage salon one day. My name is Tina Bercourt. I'm a computer instructor working towards a master's degree. I also love to watch horror movies. I am Veronica Raston. I'm presently working as a secretary and plan to study scuba diving. I'm Sharon Simon. I would like to have my own public relations company. I'm a accountant and computer programmer. I'm Elka Cuevas. Jewels of the Yucatan, the Fiesta Americana Plaza and Miss Germany. I'm a professional model and I will be opening my own international modeling agency and beauty school. My name is Andrea Stelzer. I'm a model, I speak five languages, and I study economics. My name is Orsa Maria Leuga. I'm studying fashion design and I want to make clothes that are elegant and sexy. I'm Luisa Norbis. I'm a professional model and manka. I like to travel around the world. My name is Karina Berger. I will combine my modeling skills and my business acumen to build my own company. I am Juliet Powell. I'm a student of theology and I wish to become a journalist and make documentaries. My name is Raquel Drury. I have a master's degree in history. I plan to do theater and take up acting as a career. My name is Dolly Minhas. I'm studying foreign literature at the university. I'm a part-time model. My name is Cristiana Bertanzi. I'm a speech communication major and I want to be a public relations officer. Ako po si Sarah Jane Paez. I'm a part-time model and I'm presently studying art in Kingston. My name is Sandra Foster. I want to study art at the University of Venezuela. I work as a professional model. My name is Lisa Jung. For nine years, I trained with the gymnast. I want to be trainer of girls in this sport. My name is Donna Gapinska. My friends call me an obsessive reader, which comes in handy as I am a literature major. Yo soy Catalina Villar. Toulon, the ancient Mayan city, still crowns the Yucatan, enriching the history of this magical region. And we meet Miss Japan. I'm studying English literature at a college in Sapporo. My name is Eri Tashiro. I'm a high school student, a member of the U.S. Army Reserve, and plan to study architectural engineering. I am Janice Santos. I'm a student of architecture. My hobby is sculpting, and I plan to have my own fashion design business. I'm Sally Atta. I work in telecommunications, and one day I'd like to own my fashion magazine. My name is Silvana Samut Pandolfino. I plan to become a business lawyer. I'm a university student, a model, and a banker. I am Viola Joseph. I'm a recent junior college graduate, and I think I'd like to go into hotel management. My name is Pauline Cha. My ambition is to excel as a professional. I am in my sophomore year studying nutrition and dietetics, and my name is Lucia Lopez. I am a TV hostess and I'm also interested in fashion and beauty. I'm Kang Young Kim. I'm a jazz dancer and I want to be the first woman skydiver in my country. I am Guadalajara Calcio. I'm a junior college student and would like to study art and paint. My name is Naya Rizan. I'm a model, I write in a newspaper column, I'm studying English. My name is Carolina Piez. Soon I'll begin to study economics and computers. Besides that, I love skydiving. I am Luisa Meilhede. 
One of my ambitions is to become a psychologist. I'm a college student and a ballet dancer. My name is Consuela Cruden. I'm attending law school and one of my goals is to work for human rights. My name is Luana Freire. The legend of Toulon is that for centuries it's been a place of welcome for visitors to the Yucatan. And it is once again for our 76 delegates to the 1989 Miss Universe pageant. The most beautiful group of tourists the Mayan ruins have ever seen. From here, up here we can see all the action on stage as well as some scoring information that will be seen only by you at home. And it involves mathematics, which is not my best subject. So Karen is going to explain more about the judging process. Karen? Miss Universe is selected by this panel of 11 experts who judge our contestants in three equally important areas, swimsuit, evening gown, and personal interview. Last week, they began their efforts to find one woman whose beauty, poise, and intelligence make her the right choice for the title of Miss Universe. The judges have entered their scores, and they can range from 1.0 to 9.9, .9 into the computer. The results are then tabulated, and we'll know in a moment who our 10 semi-finalists are. diverse young women, all of them beauty queens from everywhere in the world, gather in one place for three weeks, gossiping and chatting in 33 different languages. Sounds like chaos? It isn't. They laugh, they have a great time, and they take a million photos. Well, we've taken some snapshots of our own, and throughout the show, you'll see some of them. They may be of semi-finalists, or they may not, but we think they're provocative, and like the best snapshots, they're candid. Here's our first one. I remember since I was a girl, my, my brother, my sister, everybody around carrying a book, they're older than I am, I would grab a book and carry it around just like everybody else. And it's my greatest material object, the greatest gift that anybody could ever give to me is a book. with Miss Puerto Rico and the rest of our Miss Universe candidates. And we'll have a surprise right after this. And the semi-finalists start even again. Now, we've worked up some statistics here about the pageant. Thought you might like to hear them. Did you know that more Miss Universe winners have the first name Margaret than any other name? No country has ever won two years in a row, but three winners in ten years have come from Venezuela. Three out of four of the last winners were from Latin American countries. And the first Miss Universe in 1952 was from Finland. Well, no statistic can capture the human side of our competition. So here's another of our snapshots. Today's women in Holland are very much um, like the men. They want to have a job, they want to have a career, and besides that, they still want to have a family and children. But uh, that's what I want too, but I want to work first, and then when I'm ready for it and when I have the time, I want to have a husband and children. We'll return with the interview competition after this word from Ty. My kids do such unspeakable things to you. We're about to begin the first of our semi-final competitions, the interview. Karen, I would say that you're eminently qualified for this task since you've been a contestant, a Miss Universe, and even a judge in this pageant. Thank you, John. The interview competition is important because it gives each semi-finalist an opportunity to display her personality and intelligence. Well, then let's get to it. The stage is yours. Thank you. As Karen conducts the interviews, when necessary, with the aid of the De La Vega Professional Translating Service, you will see the actual composite scores the judges are giving each semi-finalist. Miss Germany. Let's see how they do. Andrea Stelzer from Munich is a professional model, and you have just... Hi, Andrea. Hello. You've just begun working on a book. What's the book about? 
The book is about my career as a model. I started at a very young age and also about my experiences as a beauty queen. It should make interesting reading not only for people who are not into the uh, beauty business at all but also for girls who are into that. Okay, it's just you and me. What's the juiciest tidbit in it? Oh, I think a girl must just be natural and she must use her beauty and her ability to the best that she can. If they were to make a movie on your book, who would play you? Um, I think that would be very difficult. I think possibly Cheryl Teagues or um, I'm not sure. <laughs> You've been a professional model now for seven years. What's the one thing you wish someone would have told you when you were first starting out? I think I wish I would have been told that it was such hard work. I think that's good realistic advice. Do you think of yourself as a realist or a romantic? I think I'm probably both. I'm a very romantic person and I'm also a realist. I like to make sure that I, you know, um, I'm very much a realist. <laughs> you sound like a well-rounded person. Thank you, Andrea. Miss Germany. Miss Chile, Macarena Mina is 20. She is studying to be a physical therapist at Metropolitan University in her hometown of Santiago. Would you like an interpreter? Yes. May we please have an interpreter? Thank you. Do you live on the campus or at home with your family? ¿Tú vives en el campo universitario o en la casa con tus padres? Yo vivo con mis padres. I live with my parents. How long do you think children should live with their parents? ¿Qué tiempo crees tú que los hijos deben de vivir con la familia? Yo creo que es importante vivir con la familia, por ejemplo, hasta por lo menos los 21 años, 22 años. Y después que uno se vaya a ir solo cuando tenga una cierta independencia económica. Ya cuando tenga, cómo arreglárselas. Además creo que, ¿por qué dejarlos solos tan luego si también no necesitan ellos? I think that one should live with their parents until they're at least 21 or 22 years old or until they've achieved a certain financial independence. And I mean, why be alone if they need one also? Very well put. Earlier this month, you talked about your admiration for the great Chilean poet, Gabriela Maestro. What, about her, what is it about her poetry that touches you? Anteriormente nos has hablado de la admiración que tienes por la gran poeta chilena Gabriela Mistral. ¿Qué hay de la poesía de ella que te llega a ti? Bueno, Gabriela Mistral es una mujer muy conocida en Chile, ganó el Premio Nobel de Literatura y Nacional de Literatura. En sus poemas ella escribe mucho el amor a los niños. Y también, por ejemplo, hay un poema muy lindo que dice Pececitos de niño, azulinos de frío, cómo os ven y no os cubren, Dios mío. Gabriela Mistral is a very well-known poet. She's won national prizes in poetry. She writes a lot about her love for children. She has a very favorite poem during which she talks about the special love for children that she has. It sounds beautiful. Thank you, Macarena. Miss Chile. Jamaica, Sandra Foster, 19-year-old visual art student from Kingston. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Karen. Sandra, you wish to pursue a career in advertising. What do you think makes a good advertising campaign? I think that for an advertising campaign, you have to be thorough in that you have to know the product that you're advertising and the type of customer that you want to buy your product. Let's talk about ethical considerations of advertising. Should people be influenced to buy things they don't necessarily need or can afford? Well, I think that one of the pleasures in life is having luxuries. So it, it adds to the pleasures. And I think that uh, advertising helps to encourage us to buy luxuries that make us happy sometimes. I must say I agree with the luxury part of your answer. <laughs> okay, if you were hired to do a campaign for the Miss Universe pageant, what would you do? I think that the most important thing about that campaign would be to make it something international, to be broadcast in all countries around the world, that every country would be represented by a delegate, and there would be no specific focus on particular countries, and it would just show that the U Miss Universe pageant is something that all countries have to come together to do, and that it should be an example for all countries in their, their type of... I think you have a good career ahead of you. Thank you, Sandra. Miss Jamaica. <laughs> Let's 
welcome Miss Venezuela. Lisa Young, she's 18, a recent high school graduate and model. Hello, Lisa. How about you move up a little bit? Would you like an interpreter? Please. May we have an interpreter, please? Lisa, you're over six feet tall. When did you realize you were taller than a lot of the boys, and has it ever been a problem? Lisa, mides más de seis pies de estatura. ¿Cómo te diste cuenta que ibas a ser tan alta y si alguna vez te ha molestado? No, nunca me molestó. Pienso que que realmente el tamaño no es lo importante en una persona, sino el, la, la, la belleza interior y, y realmente nunca me ha molestado ni tenido problemas por eso. No, it has really never bothered me. I do believe that what's important is the internal beauty in a person and not the size. I have never had any problem with that. I agree. You were born in Sweden, but you grew up in Venezuela. How do you think your life would have been different if you had grown up in Sweden? Naciste en Suecia, pero te criaste en Venezuela. ¿Cómo tú crees cambiaría, había cambiado tu vida si tú te hubieras criado en Suecia en vez de en Venezuela? Creo que es una respuesta que no sabría responder porque siempre que he estado en Suecia ha sido de vacaciones y, y me gusta de vacaciones, me parece un país bellísimo de vacaciones, pero creo que me quedo con Venezuela. I don't believe I have an answer for that because whenever I have been in Sweden, I have only been there on vacations, but it's a very pretty country, but I think I would stay in Venezuela. The Venezuelan people will be happy with that answer. As one woman speaking to another, what makes you happy and what makes you sad? Hablando de mujer a mujer, ¿qué te hace feliz y qué te pone triste? Mira, me pone triste las muchas injusticias que se cometen de, en todo el mundo. Y realmente me hace feliz cuando puedes tener una conversación sincera, sin, sin tener ningún tipo de... de de rencilla o nada por el estilo. Look, what makes me sad is the injustices that take place all over the world, and what makes me very happy is to have a conversation without any quarrels. Mm, thank you, Lisa. Miss Venezuela. <laughs> Miss Holland. Angela Visar. 22 from Rotterdam. Hi, Angela. You speak Dutch, German, French, Spanish, and luckily for us, English. If you had to describe the, French, the Dutch people, how would you characterize them? Well, the Dutch people, in comparing, for example, to the Mexican people, are a little bit more moderate. It doesn't mean that we're not, not nice people, but I feel here with the Mexicans such a lot of temperament, and maybe inside the Dutch people have it too, but we kept it a little bit hidden. And um, if I have to say more about it, I love to live in Holland. We are a very peaceful country. We are very peaceful people, and uh, I've, born, I've been born and raised there, and uh, I love it. Okay, of all the other contestants here, who would you say had the most different upbringing other than yourself? Pardon? Who had the most different upbringing from you? Upbringing? Yeah, who had a different um, childhood than you? Um, well, my childhood was very lucky. I've, uh, have, I have a great family. I love my parents and my brother. And uh, I think what I noticed about all these girls is that they are very lucky inside and um, we discussed about different kind of families they come from and I would say maybe Miss Nigeria I had a conversation with her in the bus and I was really like amazed because uh, for example she has to be home at seven o'clock in the evening and we start the dinner in Holland then you know so if you talk about those things that's completely different but she is happy in the way she's raised and I think we all are oh good I'm glad thank you Angela Miss Holland Our interview segment is half over. When we come back, we'll hear from the remaining five candidates. It's very hard to be yourself sometimes because Cayman has such a small community. People tend to talk a lot and they'll say, oh, I saw Caroline doing this, oh, I saw Sarah Caroline doing that. And there's always a problem of what you think is right and what you know is right to what other people will think of you is right or wrong. We'll return after this word.
Así pasan los días. Continue our interview competition with the second five semifinalists. Karen? We now have Miss USA, Gretchen Paul Hemis from Fort Worth, Texas, a real estate investor and cattle broker. Hello, Gretchen. Hi, Karen. I read in an interview where you said being a cattle broker is much like being an, a stock broker. How is this so? I always kid around by giving that answer because people say, what do you do for a living? And I say, I'm a stock broker because in the cattle business, that's what we call uh, a herd of, of cattle is stock. And what I do is I buy and sell investment cattle for real estate investors and for ranch investors. Are you more comfortable taking risks with your money or other people's money? Well, I'm confident enough in myself as a businesswoman that I trust, first of all, my own instincts. And luckily, my customers also trust me. I would guess that land and cattle are still male-dominated businesses. Is this true? I think it is, too. Um, especially being from Texas, it, it seems to be a generation-type business. But it's been a challenge for me. When I started in real estate, I was uh, 19, and that was a great challenge, especially the first listing I had. The people were 72 years old, and so that was a great challenge for me to try to weigh their trust, you know, to trust me to list their house. Have you ever had trouble being taken seriously because you're a woman and a beauty queen? You know what? They don't take me serious is when I'm standing in an evening gown and telling them I'm a cattle broker. <laughs> Somehow I can understand that. Thank you, Gretchen, Miss USA. Louise Drevenstam, 19, from Stockholm. Hello. Hello. Miss Finland is your roommate. Did the two of you rehearse interview questions? No, we have not rehearsed anything, but... I bet you wish you had of now. <laughs> you also flew over here together, and on the way you had yourselves quite an adventure. Could you tell us about that? Yes. When we came to New York, we was going here the next morning and we missed our plane. Uh, we met on the airport in the check-in. We met a lovely lady that took care of us and showed us the whole New York for a whole day and she took us out to party and everything. So she was really nice to us. I hope she's watching. How is New York different from what you thought? First, when I came there, I thought it was very cold and I didn't like it actually so much, but when I met this girl and she showed us around, it was lovely. I loved it. Back in Sweden, you're a hairdresser. Is this true? Yes, it is. What do you do when somebody comes into your salon and, says, and shows you a picture of a film star and says, I want a hairdo just like that, but there's absolutely no way you could do it? What do you say to them? I explain to them that it's, uh, it's no idea um, to do that because um, some of the problems and I explain what that girl has done to her hair and why she can't have it the same way. That's diplomacy. Thank you, Louise. Miss Sweden. And now we have Miss Poland. Joanna Gapinska is 21 a university student and a world-class gymnast. Hi, Joanna. Would you like an interpreter? Yes, sir. May we please have an interpreter? Hello. <laughs> How has all your gymnastic training prepared you for pageant competition? Jak twoje ćwiczenia gimnastyczne ciebie do tego przygotowały? Do wyboru. Uh, I try English. <laughs> Nine years I trained Christmas gymnastic and this is very helped me in this contest because here we many dancing and training and this sport helped me here. You yourself have competed in gymnastics at an international level. Why do you think the Russian and Eastern European girls are so much better in gymnastics than the girls from the West? Dlaczego myślisz, że dziewczęta z Chodu mają lepsze szanse w gimnastyce? I think so girls from over the world have uh, the same chance. I think um, we have very good choreographer. Every world have very good or choreographer. I think so. Their training is much more rigorous than the girls from the West. Do you think all that training takes away from a good childhood? 
Czy myślisz, że te ciężkie ćwiczenia odbierają coś od y, małego życia? Yes, <laughs> this sport very helped me. I, I have one more question for you. Poland is the first Eastern Bloc country to send a delegate to the pageant. Just days ago, the first Miss USSR was chosen. Are pageants catching on in communist countries? Czy teraz są popularne wybory w komunistycznych państwach? Yes, I've been in this contest in USSR in Miss Lithuania. This is a very big contest and very nice. Many artists from uh, all the world, from Italy, from New Zealand. And this contest is very popular in USSR. Good luck, Joanna. Thank you. Miss Poland. <laughs> Finland. Osa Ludal is 20. She's a university student from Helsinki. Hello, Osa. Hello. Could you tell us what you're studying? I'm studying economics and then I uh, take some courses in languages too, exactly English and German. What would you like to do for a career? I would like to become a businesswoman, to uh, do a career in economics and uh, maybe work for the companies abroad. Finnish companies abroad doing uh, in English and German, of course. You and Miss Sweden are roommates. After rehearsals, when you go back to your room, what do you two talk about? Uh, we talk about the day, what has happened, and uh, what the girls have had, uh, what kind of clothes they have had, and uh, what the girls have been say, talking with each other, and, and of course, if we, if we have been seeing some good looking boy. <laughs> I was wondering when that was going to come about. I was a contestant once, too. Describe for us Finnish men. Uh, Finnish men are, uh, they are very nice and uh, they are very deep in, uh, in their feelings and uh, they are always very trusting. Your bio said that the person you would most like to meet was Barbara Bush. Why is this? Um, her husband George Bush has just become United States President and I find her a very interesting person because we haven't seen quite a lot of her in, uh, back home in Finland. And I think I would have quite a lot of questions to ask her, for example, well, in what way she prepared for, for big cocktail parties and uh, all these things, and of course, uh, if she, she could influence her, on her husband. Thank you very much, Oza. Miss Finland. <laughs> Miss Mexico, Adriana Abascal is 18 from Veracruz and a recent high school graduate. Now that you've completed high school, what are your plans for the future? Well, actually, I would like to become an actress. So after I give up my crown, I would like to get a real hard training because I, that's my next goal. What would you rather play, a heroine or a villain? I think a villain. It's more fun. Why do you think you make a good villain? Well, because I will really change, because I'm not like that, so I will really be performing something. And whenever you're performing, I think you get the chance to leave a different experience by performing the character, so I would like to do that. Your father is a doctor and was away from home a lot when you were growing up, and you accepted that. If you were to become a wife and mother and had to stay away from home and, st and say, stay on location for hours on end, would that be acceptable to you? I think so because my father taught me since I was a little girl that if you love your career, you can always share with your family and make them understand that you're doing for them because you love them. And I really thank my father because uh, he understands that I'm away from home because I'm competing in the pageant. And he will understand that uh, so I want to be an actress, I will have to be away from home. So I would like to teach my children if I ever had, I hope. The, the same way. Very well put. Thank you, Adriana. Miss Mexico. <laughs> and thanks to all of you ladies. And thank you to Karen for a terrific job. Oh, it's a pleasure. That concludes our interview competition. Keeping track of the
course? Well, remember, there are two more levels of competition to come. Evening gowns and when we return, swimsuit. So when I'm drawing, I like to cap I like to try and discover the personality behind the face. The eyes are the window to the soul and they tell a lot about when a person looks at you, at your eyes, into your eyes. This is a, a cameraman, the cameraman. <laughs> The 1989 Miss Universe pageant will return after this word from Oil of Olay. This is Karen Winden, Miss Australia. She was elected Miss Photogenic by all the photographers who covered this pageant. And this is Sharon Simons from Turks and Caicos. She was elected Miss Amnity by all of the delegates. And this is the 1989 Miss Universe pageant. Welcome back. Before we begin our swimsuit competition, I'd like you to meet our panel of expert judges. We ask that you please hold your applause until I've introduced them all. An internationally recognized U.S. aerobic champion, president of Venture Aerobic Productions, and star of the current exercise video, the champion within you, this is Brenda Digraff. Her latest novel, The Naked Heart, is on the New York Times bestseller list, following her other bestsellers, which have sold 23 million copies in 19 languages worldwide. She is Jacqueline Briskin. World-renowned Hollywood hairstylist and beauty expert, he is Jose Eber. After dominating amateur skating by winning numerous titles, including the Olympic silver medal, she went on to a successful professional career and is currently performing with Stars on Ice. She is Rosalind Sumners. A star of the popular American show Hill Street Blues for seven seasons, as well as a two-time basketball All-American at UCLA, here is actor and producer Michael Warren. <laughs> President of the Notori Company, her fashion designs embody the craftsmanship of her native Philippines and are exported to more than 40 different countries, successfully combining the worlds of business and art she is Jose Cruz Natori. An internationally recognized arbiter of style, this next judge publishes Harper's Bazaar Italia and five other European fashion magazines. He is Giuseppe Della Schiava. A highly respected casting director in the television and motion picture industry, her company has cast some of the most popular films in history, including Raiders of the Lost Ark and E.T. She is Jane Feinberg, former president of Columbia Pictures, the noted motion picture and TV producer. Here is Cy Weintraub, one of Latin America's and the world's most popular singers and composers, whose first English language album will soon be released. He is the award-winning musical star, Emmanuel. Motion picture and television makeup artist and lecturer on beauty secrets and makeup styles, an expert in his field, here is Phil Richards. And thank you all, judges, one and all. Our judges bear a heavy burden. They have to come here to Cancun, stay in a luxurious hotel, bask in the sun, and be surrounded by 76 of the world's most beautiful women. Well, now we're going to test their endurance even further with our next event, the swimsuit competition. Folklorico de Quintana Roo. 
You know, Mexico is a land of artisans. Artisans who have for centuries blended the traditional and the modern. With that in mind, we have framed our swimsuit competition in a setting inspired by the contemporary Mexican artist, Sergio Bustamante. We now see our 10 semifinalists in their swimsuits by Catalina. The first one is Miss Germany, Andreja Strelitz. Andrea is 24 years old. She's five feet, nine inches tall, with blue eyes. I would most like a visitor to Germany to meet our president, Richard von Weizsäcker, and Thomas Gottschalk, a popular German television personality. In fact, I would very much like to meet them myself. The next is Miss Chile, Macarena Mina. Brown-eyed Macarena is 20 years old and 5 feet 8 inches tall. La fallecida poeta Gabriela Mistral es un personaje que me gustaría que todos ustedes hubieran conocido por la profundidad de sus poemas. Fue premio Nobel de Literatura y en Chile es y será amada por todos. Miss Jamaica, Sandra Foster. At five feet seven, Sandra is 19 years old. Her eyes are brown. Jamaicans are like a big family. Wherever we travel, when we meet our fellow countrymen, we feel right at home. I lived abroad for three years, and when I returned to Kingston, my sense of belonging made that my proudest moment. Miss Venezuela, Lisa Young. Lisa's 18 years old. She's six feet one inch in height, and her eyes are green. The book that affected me the most is Azteca. I learned much about the history of the Mexican Indians, and now I feel very close to their culture. Miss Holland, Angela Visa. 22-year-old Angela is a green-eyed blonde. She's five feet nine inches tall. If a visitor to Holland could meet only one person, I would suggest our queen, Beatrix. The way she balances family life with her responsibilities is something every Dutch person admires. Thank you, ladies. Stay with us. The second half of our swimsuit competition follows this. How many of you watching can honestly say you'd like to wear your swimsuit in front of 600 million people? I thought so. But I think you'll be surprised to hear what one of our contestants had to say. Many people see the Miss Universe pageants and pageants in general as a degradation of women. I, on the contrary, see it as, as an honor. We are here representing our country. How many girls at 18 do you know who are given that opportunity? The second five candidates in our swimsuit competition will have their chance following this. Norman, what's that? No. To pick a favorite from among the marvelous prizes our winner will receive. You'll see what I mean as we take a look at them now with the help of the reigning Miss Universe, Pontip Nakiran Kanok. From Mexicana Airlines, two round-trip golden Aztec tickets to any Mexicana destination are hers to enjoy. Mexicana, the official airline of the Miss Universe pageant. Miss Universe receives $2,000 plus exquisite eyewear from Marcolin of Italy by Marchand. Flattering styles, flawless fit, unsurpassed quality. Marchand, the official eyewear of the Miss Universe pageant. Epic Waves Home Permanence awards our winner $5,000 and a year's supply of perms from the all-new Epic Waves collection. Learn to perm fearlessly with three revolutionary perms, the try-on, adaptable and anytime perms from Epic Waves. Miss Universe receives $10,000 from Catalina, plus a stylish wardrobe of Catalina sportswear, swimwear, and cover-ups. Catalina, the official supplier of swimwear and sportswear for the Miss Universe pageant since 1952.
From Minolta, she received $6,000 cash, a video camera, and VCR plus the new Maxim 7000i SLR system. It's intelligent, ingenious, in a world by itself, only from the mind of Minolta. Along with $5,000 from Crest toothpaste, Miss Universe receives a year's supply of Crest in six refreshing flavors and assorted sizes, one for every occasion. Crest, the dentist's choice. From Vidal Sassoon, $5,000 plus an array of products including new styling fix. Its new, stronger than ever formula holds up even in the most humid conditions. New styling fix by Vidal Sassoon. Because if you don't look good, we don't look good. For the ultimate in style, an exquisitely handcrafted 18 karat gold Daniel Mink dress watch. Plus her choice of everyday watches. From Daniel Mink, watches with character. From Caesar's Woman, the official fragrance of the Miss Universe pageant, $10,000 and a collection of sensuously floral Caesar's Woman perfume and bath luxuries. From the treasures of Caesar's Palace. To top off her wardrobe, our winner receives this beautiful natural black glamour mink coat, plus a sporty mink jacket awarded by the internationally famous Flemington Fur Company, Flemington, New Jersey. From Secret Antiperspirant, she receives a stunning Temptations by Sherry Hill wardrobe, as well as $5,000 cash. Secret, the official antiperspirant of the Miss Universe pageant. From K Jewelers, the Miss Universe pageant's official jeweler, diamonds from K's classic collection. Necklace, ring, bracelet, and earrings, more than six carats of brilliant diamonds set in 14 karat gold, backed by K's 10 exclusive assurances. She receives a prepaid life insurance policy with a 20-year cash value of $50,000, awarded by Seguros La Repubblica, official insurer of the Miss Universe pageant. Miss Universe is presented with an $80,000 luxury condominium on the Caribbean, south of Cancun, at Puerto Aventuras Resort. Beach club, golf course, marina, and sunken treasure, it's all here at Puerto Aventuras, a year-round vacation paradise. is what our new Miss Universe will win. Though I have no idea how she intends to pack that condo into a suitcase. When we return, we'll follow our young ladies on a musical tour of Cancun with a very splashy ending. We'll be back right after this word from Crest, the official toothpaste of the Miss Universe pageant. Hours in the rehearsal hall, learning routines. They're fitted in gorgeous swimwear and sportswear from Catalina and a very hot dress by Sherry Hill Designs. Then for three days, they have a great time going all over Cancun shooting the number. Well, we're going to see the results of all that work along with our participants. We're going to be seeing it for the first time, too. Are you ready, ladies? Well, as they say in the beautiful Isle of Cancun, vamanos!
is an enormous undertaking which requires the help of hundreds of people here in Cancun. Most of them volunteers who make this event happen. On behalf of the pageant, we thank you all. And now uh, we'd like to acknowledge several distinguished guests in our audience. Here is the Secretary of Tourism, Professor Carlos Hank Gonzalez. And Honorary President of the Cancun Host Committee for Miss Universe, and governor of the state of Quintana Roo, Mr. Miguel Borne Martin and his wife, Rosalia. The chairman of the host committee for Miss Universe 1989, Senor Gustavo Arce. Muchas gracias. Y muchísimas gracias a toda la gente. Part of the fun in a glamorous resort is taking off your swimsuit after a day at the beach and dressing for the evening in a spectacular gown. Well, that's what our semi-finalists are doing now, and we'll see them in a moment. Uh, before I was, I came into this, uh, into the pageant business, so to speak. I used to have a lot of tutors. Now, not so many because a lot of them think, "Oh gosh, what would I be doing with a woman like that? She probably doesn't know how to cook." She'll probably be going from one country to another. She'll not make a good wife. She'll be running around with men because some people still do have a narrow-minded view of beauty pageants. And now my tutors have, my tutors have reduced considerably. And I'm a happier person, actually, because I don't have to think all the time of a reason not to get married to one person. We'll be back with the evening gown competition right after this. We're happy to be here. Willkommen noch einmal zu Miss Universe 1989. And welcome back to Miss Universe 1989. Viele Grüße an alle meine Freunde zu Hause. And she says hi to all her friends at home. Welcome, welcome back. <laughs> Many people consider Cancun to be a new place, but a thousand years ago, this intriguing region of Mexico was a center of world culture. With our setting representing the magnificent ruins of Palenque, we pay tribute to the Mayan civilization as we now begin our evening gown competition. It is traditional in the Miss Universe pageant to have a group of little sisters to escort our semi-finalists. Each little sister wears the banner of her big sister. And the moment when they met each other for the first time was unforgettable. 
of their own choice, accompanied and serenaded by the Little Sisters of Cancun. Sandra Foster.
Gapinska. concludes our evening gown competition. Thank you, ladies. semi-finalists are, I know ten little sisters whose mothers are going to have a tough time getting those banners off. <laughs> now you at home have seen the scores the judges have given in all three categories and in just a few moments we'll know the name of our five finalists and we'll be back after this word from Band Soleil. Five finalists. But right now we have a treat because if you've never visited Cancun and Mexican's historic Yucatan, You'll certainly want to, after Pontip Nakarankanok, our current Miss Universe, takes us on a tour of this unique part of the world. Ah! To offer every visitor, Mexico's natural beauty and vibrant culture stimulate all the senses. It's a colorful country where colonial Spanish traditions are blended with the heritage of ancient civilization. Bordering the United States, Mexico stretches southward for about 4,200 miles. Cancun is at Mexico's southern end, only a short distance from the spectacular ruins of Chichen Itza. We'll start our tour high above the ball court, a standard feature of nearly all Mayan cities. I'm in the royal box, from which the priest kings of Chichen Itza would watch the games below. The object of the game was to score points by getting a rubber ball through that stone ring. Rival teams of warriors would struggle to control the ball by using only their hips, elbows, and feet. What we know about Mayan life has been learned from the hieroglyphics and engravings that decorate their walls. The city served as a spiritual center and commercial marketplace for the Mayans who farmed in the surrounding countryside. The centerpiece of the complex is the Great Pyramid. It is so precisely aligned that you can use it as a calendar, sort of like a giant sundial. There are a total of 365 steps in the pyramid, one for each day of the year. The descendants of the Mayans still live in the Yucatan, farming, speaking the Mayan language, and worshipping their ancient gods in much the same way their ancestors did more than a thousand years ago. Mexico's many colors are reflected in her handicrafts. The traditions of the past live on in the modern-day Mexico. Old and new exist side by side in the bustling cities which stretch from the Rio Grande to the Yucatan. But Mexico has a lot more to offer, including world-class beach resorts such as Cancun, the site of this year's Miss Universe pageant. This area here is Punta Nizú. 
and as you can see, we're not too far from the water. But then again, you're never too far from the water in Cancun, for Cancun is one giant beach. If you're the sporting type, you can enjoy jet skiing, water skiing, windsurfing, and parasailing. Or you can try my favorite sport, shopping. Cancun's sister resorts at Acapulco, Puerto Vallarta, and Mazatlan offer the same broad range of round-the-clock enjoyment. From sunrise to sunset, Mexico's a feast for all the senses. And please welcome back our ten semi-finalists, five of whom, in just a moment, will continue into the last round of competition. I see that the results are ready. May I have them, please? Here are the five Finalists. Again, I will read their names in no particular order. Number one, Miss Mexico, Adriana Alastair. Number two, Miss Holland, Angela Visa. Number three, Miss Poland, Joanna Gopinska. Number four, Miss USA, Gretchen Polimas. And number five, Miss Sweden, Louise Revenstein. These are our five finalists, one of whom, in just a few minutes, will be Miss Universe. 1989. We have our finalists. Are your choices among them? It won't be long now before our judges face an even more difficult decision. We'll be back after this word from Secret, the official antiperspirant of the Miss Universe pageant. The first thing I'm going to do when I return back to Argentina is to take all my makeup and throw away the heels. And... Even before I take my shoes off, I'm going to have half a pound of chocolate. And go out and have a glass of Guinness. <laughs> qualified to be Miss Universe, but only one will win the title. The judges have one last opportunity to determine who has that indefinable quality that every Miss Universe should have. Our final moment is at hand. Let's go to John. We will now present each of the five finalists. When our judges make their decisions, they'll assign each candidate a ranking and designate a fourth, a third, a second, a first runner-up. And, of course, Miss Universe. 1989. First is Miss Mexico, Adriana Abascal. Adriana is a great favorite here in our native Mexico. The title of Miss Universe would make her a favorite all over the world. Miss Holland. Angela Vizar from Rotterdam. She hopes for a career in television and public relations. A year as Miss Universe would certainly put her on her way. Miss Poland. <laughs> Joanna Gapinska would love to become Miss Universe. Perhaps if only to teach people how to pronounce the name of her hometown in Poland. It's Stetching. Miss USA. Gretchen Paul Hemus may well be wondering if her Texas luck will make her the first Miss Universe from the USA in nine years. Miss Sweden.
There hasn't been a Miss Universe from Sweden since 1984. I'm sure Louise Drevenstam is wondering if she'll be the next. The judges have made their decision and the computer is tabulating the rankings. And our winner is now being selected. Nations are holding their breath as they wait to hear who will be Miss Universe 1989. We'll find out right after this word from Vidal Sassoon, the official hair care and styling system of the Miss Universe pageant. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in applauding all the contestants for the title of Miss Universe 1989. Before our reigning Miss Universe delivers her traditional farewell, we would like to present an honored guest who will assist in the crowning. Representing her native France, she was crowned Miss Universe 1953 in the second pageant ever held. She went on to become a popular film actress in Mexico and a Mexican citizen upon her marriage to Ambassador Miguel Aleman Velasco. Please welcome one of Mexico's most distinguished women, Christiane Martel de Aleman. say her farewells and to accept our congratulations for a job well done. Here is Miss Universe 1988, Porn Tip Naki Ronkanoke. This year has been an incredible year. I stand here tonight as a Thai Cinderella, having lived a beautiful fairy tale and having learned a great deal about myself, the world, and the incredible power of love and support. After this fabulous year, I could never be the same, having now established my own children's foundation, addressed the United Nations, and experienced a great deal of the world. I think the one thing that I will always remember is the adoring faces of the people who have received me with great love and admiration. I am thankful for the Miss Universe title because it has allowed me to live my dream, and that is to change the faces of crying children to laughing children, for as we all know, laughter has no language barrier and is the most beautiful language of all. Thank you and kapun ka. You porn tip for a memorable year. Buena suerte and may good luck be yours always. And now our computer has tabulated the votes of our judges. The results have been reviewed by representatives of the international accounting firm of Ernst and Winnie and will now be given to me by Mr. Mark Ward of that firm. Thank you. Fourth runner up, Miss Mexico. Third runner-up, Miss Poland. Second runner-up, Miss USA. Now, please, would you come down? Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the climax of this extraordinary pageant. I'm about to name our first runner-up and the new Miss Universe. Both are important roles because should the new Miss Universe be unable to complete her reign for any reason at all, 
then the first runner-up becomes Miss Universe. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the first runner-up is Miss Sweden. Universe. You've won cash prizes totaling over a quarter of a million dollars, and for the next year, you'll represent not only Miss Holland, but all the countries of the Miss Universe pageant. Now, would you like to take your first proud walk? Representing the countries in the Miss Universe pageant in an effort to further the cause of peace and understanding, dedicate ourselves to the highest ideal of sportsmanship, friendship, and goodwill among all people. You are the best. You are. You are the best. Portions of this program were pre recorded. No one in John Forsyth with our new Miss Universe. It's Holland, Miss Universe. Thank you for joining us in Cancun, Mexico. Y adios, amigos. This is CBS.